Hi, these are the lesson activities for Math 204, Differential Equations, Section 1.8. First problem, we want to find the general solution to the differential equation dy dt plus 2y equals e to the t over 3. So this is a non-homogeneous differential equation. First, I'm just going to put it into the form that um, we were using uh, in the demo. So I'm going to move the 2y to the other side. So this is dy dt equals negative 2y plus e to the t over 3. Just have the dy dt by itself. Okay, so this is non-homogeneous because of this function that has um, only t's in it that's added on to the end. So that makes it non-homogeneous. So this is a three-step process to find the solution to a non-homogeneous differential equation. You start by finding the general solution to the associated homogeneous equation using separation of variables. So the associated homogeneous equation says just drop the complicated stuff. We're just going to get rid of this function of t that we're adding on to the end there. And so we're going to have dy dt equals negative 2y. It may be that you've solved um, pro a problem that looks like this so many times now that you can just write the solution down. Um, I'll do out separation of variables just to remind you how it works. So I'm going to move the y to the left and the dt to the right. So I have 1 over y dy equals negative 2 dt. Integrate, integrate. And then ln y equals negative 2t plus c e to both sides. So y equals e to the negative 2t plus c, which I can rewrite as e to the negative 2t times e to the c, because when you multiply like bases, you would add the exponents. And e to the c is just a new arbitrary constant. So I can call it c, or I could call it k. Um, we have y equals k e to the negative 2 t. Okay, so there's my solution to the associated homogeneous equation. Step two is to make a guess to find one particular solution of the non-homogeneous equation. That is, any function that makes the non-homogeneous differential equation true. We're not looking for the general solution, just a single function that makes that equation true. So in this case, um, my guess should be of the form something times e to the t over 3, because that is my called my forcing function. Um, the non-homogeneous part of my differential equation, your guess should take the form of that plus any or and all of its derivatives. But because the derivative of an exponential is just another exponential of the same type, um, you know, we can combine them all into a single alpha e to the t over 3. So this little chart is handy when your forcing function is of the form c e to the st, your guess should be alpha e to the st. So this is my guess for y particular. y particular is going to be alpha e to the t over 3. And then I have to plug that into the differential equation up here, which means that I also need to know y prime or dy dt. So dy particular dt, the derivative of this would be alpha e to the t over 3 times a third. So 1 third alpha e to the t over 3. Okay, then I plug into the differential equation. So maybe I'll write it down. dy dt is supposed to equal negative 2y plus e to the t over 3. And I'm going to plug in this dy dt and this y to see if I can figure out if there's an alpha that would make this true. So dy dt is 1 third alpha e to the t over 3. And I need to force this to equal negative 2 times y, which is this, alpha e to the t over 3, plus e to the t over 3. On the right-hand side, those are like terms. Um, well, I'm going to factor out an e to the t over 3. 
So this is e to the t over 3 times negative 2 alpha plus 1. And that has to equal 1 third alpha e to the t over 3. Now I can equate coefficients. On the left and the right hand side, I have coefficients on e to the t over 3. So on the left, the coefficient on e to the t over 3 is 1 third alpha. And on the right, the coefficient on e to the t over 3 is negative 2 alpha plus 1. For this equation to be true, the coefficients have to be the same. So I'm going to set those coefficients equal to each other. And solve for alpha. So if I add 2 alpha to both sides, uh, 2 would be 6 thirds, so I have 7 thirds alpha equals 1. So alpha equals 3 sevenths. So I found a y particular. I knew that it would likely have this form, and I found an alpha that'll make it work. So y particular is 3 sevenths e to the t over 3. Okay. So now I have a general solution to the associated homogeneous equation and one particular solution to the non-homogeneous equation. The general solution you get by just adding uh, y homogeneous to y particular. Okay, so y general is just y homogeneous plus y particular, which means y general is k e to the negative 2 t plus 3 sevenths e to the t over 3. Problem 2. We're going to use the same three-step process to find the general solution to the non-homogeneous linear differential equation dy dt equals negative 2y plus cosine 3t. So step 1, find the general solution to the associated homogeneous equation using separation of variables. So the associated homogeneous equation is dy dt equals negative 2y. We just solved this using separation of variables in the previous problem, so I'll just write it down. y homogeneous is k e to the negative 2t. All right, step two is to make a guess to find one particular solution of the non-homogeneous equation, any function that makes the non-homogeneous differential equation true. So the form of our guess is based on the form of the forcing function. The forcing function is cosine 3t. So when the forcing function is sinusoidal, you guess a sinusoidal uh, particular solution. And you need to have a sine and a cosine term because your guess is supposed to have the form of your forcing function, so cosine 3t, plus any of its derivatives. So I also need a sine term for, because the derivative of cosine is sine. So I have a cosine 3t term and a sine 3t term. I would also need any more derivatives, but the derivative of sine is cosines, and I already have that covered. Okay, so for a sinusoidal, you just need a sine and a cosine for, um, for your guess. Okay, so I've got my y particular. It has the form a sine 3t plus b cosine 3t. I need to plug into the original differential equation, so I'm going to need dy dt. So dy particular dt. The derivative here, the derivative of a sine 3t would be 3a cosine 3t. And then the derivative of b cosine 3t, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so I have minus 3b sine 3t. Okay, so now I plug into the differential equation. So I'm looking at this. I'm going to replace dy dt with this expression. 3a cosine 3t minus 3b sine 3t equals, has to equal negative 2 times y, so negative 2 times 
y is my guess, a sine 3t plus b cosine 3t. Okay, so now I have plugged into dy dt, I have negative 2y, and then I still have to do plus cosine 3t. And now I have to see if I can find an a and a b that will make this true. Okay, so I'm going to start by distributing the negative 2 on the right. So I have negative 2a sine 3t minus 2b cosine 3t plus cosine 3t. I'm going to combine my cosine 3t's. They are like terms. So I have negative 2a sine 3t plus negative 2b plus 1 cosine 3t. And that still equals, the left has not changed, 3a cosine 3t minus 3b sine 3t. Now I equate coefficients. So the coefficient of sine 3t on the right is negative 2a. That has to be the same as the coefficient on sine 3t on the left, which is negative 3b. So those have to be equal. And then my coefficients on cosine 3t on the left and the right also have to be the same. Okay, so I'm going to end up with two equations, two unknowns, 3a equals negative 2b plus 1, and negative 3b equals negative 2a. So <clears throat> solve one uh, of these equations for one of the variables. So I'm going to start with this equation and solve for b. So b is 2 thirds a, and then plug that into the other equation. So 3a equals negative 2 times 2 thirds a plus 1. So 3a equals negative 4 thirds a plus 1. So 3 is 9 thirds plus 4 thirds is 13 thirds. So 13 thirds a equals one, so A is 3 thirteenths. And that means that B, which is 2 thirds times A, is 6 over, uh, why did I do that? I can cancel that before multiplying. 2 thirteenths. So there's my b, 2 thirteenths. So my y particular is, is um, this function, a sine 3t plus b cosine 3t. But now I know what a and what b are. So y particular is a sine 3t, so 3 thirteenths sine 3t plus b, which is 2 thirteenths cosine 3t. And then finally, step three, the general solution to the non-homogeneous differential equation is just the sum of um, the general solution to the associated homogeneous differential equation and our particular solution. So y general is y homogeneous, which was ke to the negative 2t plus y particular, which is 3 thirteenths sine 3t plus 2 thirteenths cosine 3t. Problem three, use the three-step process to find the general solution to dy dt equals negative 2y plus 3e to the negative 2t. This feels very familiar. It feels very much like problem one. Um, we have an exponential forcing function, the same associated 
um, homogeneous equation. So we start by solving that. We know because we solved it earlier that this has the solution y homogeneous is k e to the negative 2 t. Okay, now we have to find um, one particular solution to the non-homogeneous equation. So my guess is going to be of the form alpha e to the negative 2 t. It's got the same form as my forcing function. So this guide, this table of guidelines says that my, for my guess should be alpha e to the st, so alpha e to the negative 2t. So I need to know dy dt for y particular, and that will be negative 2 alpha e to the negative 2t. And then we're going to plug into this differential equation, plug in dy dt, plug in y, and equate coefficients. So dy dt is negative 2 alpha e to the negative 2t. That needs to equal negative 2 times y, which is my guess, alpha e to the negative 2t plus 3 e to the negative 2t. That's just this bit right here. So I have dy dt equals negative 2y plus 3e to the negative 2t. Okay, so I'm going to try to combine like terms here. So I have negative 2 alpha e to the negative 2t equals negative 2 alpha plus 3 times e to the negative 2t. And my coefficients to equate would be this one to this one. So I have negative 2 alpha equals negative 2 alpha plus 3. Oh dear. If I add 2 alpha to both sides, I get 0 equals 3. So there is no alpha that can make this guess work. My first guess failed. Okay, so I have a little note here about what to do when that happens. If your first guess fails because everything cancels, right? All my alphas went away, I can't solve for it. Try multiplying your first guess by t and starting again. So I'm gonna take my first guess for y particular, multiply it by t, and do the whole process again. So my new y particular is gonna be alpha t e to the negative two t. And then I have to calculate dy dt. I'm just going to use y prime for short. And I'm going to have to use the product rule because that's a product of two functions in t. So the product rule says first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. And now I'm going to plug in y particular and y particular prime into the differential equation. So dy dt, I have negative 2 alpha t e to the negative 2 t plus alpha e to the negative 2 t equals negative 2 times y, and y is alpha t e to the negative 2 t plus 3 e to the negative 2 t. So this is dy dt, plugging in for that, dy dt is this. Then I have negative 2 times y. Here's my negative 2. That was my, my guess for y particular, plus 3e to the negative 2t. Now, some things will cancel. Um, this term and this term cancel each other out. Add them to both sides and they go away. So now I have alpha e to the negative 2t equals 3e to the negative 2t. So my coefficients to equate are this one and this one. So alpha equals 3. So now I have a y particular that works. My y particular um, is this guess, and I now know alpha is 3. So it's 3t e to the negative 2t. <clears throat> and then my general solution 
is the sum of y homogeneous and y particular. So y general is y homogeneous, which was k e to the negative 2t, plus y particular, 3t e to the negative 2t.